How about we do an Aries read? How about we read with the intention of tapping into Aries energy? Fire. Along with Leo and Sagittarius, something is just yeah. Aries. What's going on with Aries? Aries. Just got very animated outside. Okay. Aries. <laughs> My priestess. Sitting in front of some kind of vault. There is a tapestry that hides the opening of the vault. King of Wands in reverse. Generally, King of Wands in reverse. Can you see that? Does that help? Is that better? Okay. King of Wands in reverse. Someone is not being absolutely forthright with their intentions. Let's go on. Justice in reverse. Libra energy, air essence. No seven of wands in the right, uprighted position. I should say not right, but the upright position. It's defending. Someone's defending. What? Page of Cups. It's like a baby romance going on. Like the, no, I don't, not, not in a creepy sense. A, a, a romance of just, you know, that, that fragile initial spark. The flame that if you don't care for it is easily snuffed out. Two of cups in reverse. What's going on? Two of cups in reverse. Strength in reverse. So, mm, I'm sure you know this already. Just because it's in reverse doesn't mean it's the exact opposite of the upright position. Four of Pentacles. I'm just saying there's more to it than that. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords in the upright that's going to help us inform our ideas about this reading. Just make sure you can see as much of it as I can. Okay, how's that? We began with the um, High Priestess in the upright position. Um, there he is. Aries. Where is our emperor? Aries. This is not a comfortable position for you to be in. Somehow you've had to dim your light, whatever that means to you. Dim your light 
in order to let this very fragile ego, this person with a very fragile ego, It's important that the high priestess is here, though, because she's guarding, she's protecting aspects of the personality that are not fully faked, not fully faked, not fully evolved in order to be useful to the situation. You know what to say and how to say it, but is it what needs to be said right now? Those are questions you can answer. Alongside the high priestess are the initials B and J. Brian, Joseph. The way I'm looking at her picture right now, that J could be a T. Timothy, Thomas, Tariq. Okay, so the power struggle is appropriate to, to mention but it's something that you understand. You don't like it. You don't like it. And you don't know how, how sustainable it is for you to dim your light. But this is a very precarious and the word fragile comes up again fragile beginning of this relationship. You're being very gracious. You're being very kind. And it's... Okay. You're being very kind, and maybe this is not your usual way of dealing with people who are... Let me help you. Maybe you're not always this gracious with people who can't match your energy. You could have said this a little bit differently, but I, I'm organizing your true intent here. Because your normal, your natural is to come off as kind of a bee. Like, I don't have time for this. I see Judge Judy doing this with her watch. But you sense that there's something very special about this budding relationship. And yes, it would be good for you. They, this person will help smooth your rough parts. So, King of Swords, in reverse. Why, why did I want to say that was the King of Wands? King of Swords, definitely. Um, okay, I'll tell you what I'm feeling about this reading is that there are, are intents, and there, there are good intents and good intentions. However, it's not your normal way of doing things. So in a way, you're in conflict with your own self. You're in, in a way, you are in competition with how you usually do things. It might benefit you to give it a try, or at least to give it a look. Um, the king, the king is here, whether it's the king of wands or the king of swords. Right now, it's where you are definitely... When I think of King of Swords, I think of like Spock, the the mind over the mind over the heart, the head over the heart, the intellect. But this king is off balance. I don't say he's absolutely on his head, but um, the King of Swords it is the King of Wands. Why do I want? You're definitely approaching this relationship differently, where you're usually very, you're, you know, 
very pragmatic, very, you know, how is this going to work? Is it going to be beneficial? Are you gonna, is this person going to hurt me? That's usually where you're going. And that's why the, the Spock, the King of Swords, is, is a very, I, I can feel it. And just like your Aries energy, the Emperor, you, you're not going to mess with, with um, trifling, trifling, whatever that word means. Trifling means small, trifle. But you're using it in a derogatory term towards people who who waste your time. You you do not bear that graciously. This is the King of Wands, and where the intent is usually a, a direct flirtation. They are off their game. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, sorry. They are off their game. You are off your game. The other person is off their game too. So what does that mean? Are you playing the game? No. The game is your general way of going towards a relationship. This is usually I do this. I meet them through a family. I, they, they are cleared. I clear them myself. Oh, you'll even do a background check. You'll even do a... You know, yeah. I, and I have no... There's no judgment call there. It's just what I see. I see uh, very official documents, background checks. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to see with this person as far as a background check. Very, very uh, just generic. <clears throat> Justice in reverse. It's, I, I'm hearing Rules of the game. Rules of the game. Wow. To the person I'm speaking to. To the Aries I'm speaking to. This is your reading regarding someone that you've, you've just found or that you've re-sparked with. I wouldn't be surprised if we had seen... Um, temp um, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have been surprised if, if I saw um, the judgment card for second chances. Because this might be someone you're giving a second chance to. But you're making this reading not easy for me because I hear you yelling, No, 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 no. That's not my That's. I almost said that's not my problem. And that's, that would be very your language. You're putting words in my mouth. That's not my issue. I'm not here to judge or make judgment calls. You do with, you have free will. Do it with with this information as you will. Going on, we do see you in a defensive posture. And I really feel like the competition is within your own psyche. And you're asking, is there really anything else I have to learn? Is there anything I can learn from this person if this is a second judgment? If this is even the third time. You know, people do change. People grow with their experiences. Um, all the great, all the great philosophers beg us, don't judge. Don't judge. We never know what's going on in someone else's life in this life. So, don't judge. Again, we spoke about this little, 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 little bitty love offering coming around. And um, just like the, the previous reading, I think it was Capricorn, speaking about how sometimes the beautiful little gift means so much. We do have the lovers in reverse. I'm sorry, two of cups. Why am I misreading? Lovers in reverse, what does that have to do? 
Seven chains. Two of cups. Sorry, let me hold it. Two of cups meeting on even ground, meeting face to face. Maybe this is a long distance relationship. Maybe you haven't met each other yet. So it's not that it's doomed. This is not a doom card. There aren't any doom cards in tarot. They are energies for us to read together, you and I. It's just that the two of you haven't had time. If, it, if this reading is for you, again, don't come at me. Maybe you, you have met, but the time was like, hi, goodbye, and then left with a real strange, huh? This speaks about quality time in front of each other to experience the energies in your souls. You know, that's the brilliance of a hug, isn't it? When you're holding someone, your your heart is pressed next to theirs. It's um, it's really a, it's a soul connection. You haven't had that, if this reading is for you. If you have had it, it wasn't the quality experience that is necessary for the Two of Cups experience. We have strength in the reverse again. And it's not that you lack strength. It's the, the strength that has been utilized lately has almost been... Running up the wrong tree? What is that even supposed to mean? Running up, can you run up a tree? That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm going to say. No, I'm not getting snotty. Running up a wrong, I just don't understand it. We're running up a tree. Who runs up a tree? Is it even physiologically possible? Running up a tree. Okay. You've been wasting your time running up a tree. Whatever that means. Um... It's not wasting time. It's you've spent not just time, money. You've you've spent finances that you didn't have trying to connect. It's not for nothing. Four of Pentacles, holding on to that pentacle. Holding on to that pentacle. I think it's part of the competition is that you're holding on to what is your normal. You're holding on desperately to... I don't do things that way. I do things this way. And and this is it's it's almost a stubborn energy of I'm not just going to give up who I am in order to match this energy. The energy levels are definitely different. There could be an age difference too. Distance, age difference. Definitely like the way you do things different. Okay. Aries, you're many things, but you're not unfair. In this beginning of a relationship, someone has been working much harder than the other person to get this going. If this resonates with you, you'll know what, who it, what I'm talking about. You'll know what it means. Someone has been doing the majority of work. I'm thinking it's you. Traveling, taking a chance, putting other things on hold, not taking care of things that you need to take care of, spending money on, on things that There are other things that need to be done. And at the bottom of it, frame, framing this reading is the, the Nine of Swords. So 
there is worry of betrayal. There is worry of someone just taking advantage of another person. There's worry of I'm wasting my time. I don't have time to waste. Worry that their heart's going to be broken. Aries, I see you with a broom, and you're swatting at things, trying to clean house. You're swatting at things, trying to move things around the best you can. And I give you so much credit. After a while, you're going to be exhausted, uh, if you're not exhausted already from from this need to control a lot of different things that are out of your control. This is devolving into other questions. I tell you what, if I miss something, why don't you leave me a comment and I'll do my best to remember where we are. I might have to play this again as you ask your question. But I think that uh, for the people who this resonates with, it, it will make sense. It makes sense to me, too. It's just, it's a little aggravating because you're, you're feeling a very strong certain way, dear Aries, ever. But um, how your intent is reflected is quite meek, mild, sympathetic, compassionate. It's a, it's a world that is not your most comfortable place being so without i'll leave you but don't forget i love you bunches like bananas